Two train derailments in less than two weeks, all on one rail line. Avery Braxton has been in Oglethorpe in Macon County all day and shows you what's going on there. Well, it looked a lot worse earlier in the day. Emergency crews from Macon County, Utilco and CXS have been working to clear this up since it happened around 3.30 this morning. There's still no word on the cause of the crash yet, but earlier in the day there was clearly a section of the track missing. The call came early. We got the call about 3.30 this morning of uh, something coming off of a railroad car. And when uh, the officers responded, it was actually a derailment. It seemed all too familiar for the train company CSX. It was their second derailment in less than a month. The other occurred in Dooley County near the city of Byronville. I was in shock. I had no idea. Cynthia Stopey lives in a trailer park about a half mile away. She said she hears trains coming all the time. Anywhere from over 20 I know a day. So that's commonplace for us to hear the trains. But when we didn't hear the trains, we didn't know what had happened. <laughs> we were shocked. Needless to say, we were shocked. Stopey said she was worried about people being hurt, but CXS has reported no injuries. Ten cars fell off the 96 car train, half of which were holding paper products and phosphoric acid, according to the train company. CSX says there will be no need for a hazmat team this time, as there were no leaks or spills. But Macon County Emergency Management Director James Connor said there is still cause for concern. You're never 100% prepared for a train derail. This is two, two weeks in a row that CSX has lost rail cars in this area. You know, I, I can't explain it. I don't know what's going on, but I hope they get it fixed soon. Connor said that this rail line is the same line that a CXS train failed on a few weeks ago and that portions of the line just received new track. Chief Hart said the chilly weather may play a factor. The metal expands and uh, decreases uh, with the changes of the weather, and so that's what they're contributing to at this time. Now both Hart and Connor said they expect to have the rail lines running again, and by the looks of it, they may be well on their way to achieving that goal. Reporting in Oglethorpe, Avery Braxton, 13 WMAZ News. The derailment shut down the Buck Creek Bypass in Oglethorpe. Traffic is being redirected through State Route 90 and downtown Oglethorpe. CSX says they are putting together a full review of what happened. This is the second CSX derailment in the last 10 days, as Avery said. On the 17th, a train derailed in Dooley County, spilling propane and causing some folks in town to evacuate.